So you've created your mock-up in Cloud 3D and for some reason you would like to pursue things further in Blender. In this video, I'll show you how you can transfer your designs from Cloud to Blender. So the first thing you want to do is select file, export GLTF 2.0. Name the file and select select the folder in which you would like to save the file and name the file. S click save and you will see this prompt appear. So make sure patterns are selected, graphics and trims, single object, thick. In case you're exporting the work animation, make sure garment animation is selected. Otherwise, just deselect this make sure the scale is set to DAS studio and at 100 percent and once you have all this set up click ok now once you click ok the file will be exported to the folder in which you selected and you're good to go now the next step is if you haven't already download and install blender onto your computer now once you've installed Blender onto your computer, open up Blender, use the default settings and click General. Now the first two things you want to do when you open up Blender is come to the top left corner, Edit, Preference, um, System. Uh, yeah, first let's check the add-ons. So type GLTF, make sure import export GLTF 2.0 is checked. All right. So once you have that checked, then go into inputs. So if you're using a keyboard without a numpad, select emulate three button mouse and emulate numpad. Okay. So if you're using a uh, keyboard without a numpad, for example, a laptop keyboard, so make sure to check this too and yeah and the next thing you want to do is select system if you have a gpu if you have a gpu like nvidia or uh amd so come up to the optics you know and select which ones that are, select the ones that apply to you okay this is for intel uh this is for nvidia and this is for amd i guess so make sure you select a gpu and once you have all this selected you can save and yeah you can save and close so now once you've set that up now you can open the mock-up file that we provided on our website make sure to download the document and open it up see you there Now, once you've uh, downloaded the document from our website, make sure to open up the Blender file. And when you open up the Blender file, you see something like this. So this is a big scene. <laughs> so this is a big scene. Uh, we have all the cameras set up. There are five cameras in total, the front, sides, and the back. And there is also a 360 camera okay so now let's exp uh, let's let's import the GLTF document into blender so to import the document select file import GLTF now once you select GLTF locate the folder in which you saved the GLTF uh, the GLTF you export exported from Clo. So for example, this is the GLTF document. I'll click imports. Now, once you import the document, use the middle scroll button to zoom out, to zoom out like this. And I would like to scale this UDI all the way down. So select the UDI with the left click and press S on your keyboard. 
S. Now, once you press S on your keyboard, the next thing you want to press is backslash, backslash, and type 100. Enter. So basically, I scaled the UDI down by dividing it by 100. So this is the result. And now if you press zero on the keyboard, zero is for the um zero is for the camera. So zero is for the camera. So this is what it looks like. I'll click on the render. I'll click on the viewport shading on the top right corner to see a realistic preview of what I'm doing. So this is what the mock-up is looking like. So there is one main issue with this mock-up. And the issue is the fact that the, the UDI looks very shiny. Like it looks too shiny. So to correct that, add to the shading, add to shading section, select shading. Again, select the uh, uh, real-time render viewport shading and so in this section i would like to do like a few things so it might look scary but uh this is actually a very easy thing to do so the first thing you want to do is select the body color all you're doing is selecting the body color and the rib color right so select the first bit body color here and reduce the specular to zero point one enter once you reduce the specular remove the roughness so use the left click to detach the roughness and increase the roughness to 0 0.7 enter so you see what we just did i'll do one more uh this is the rib so again reduce the specular to 0 0.1 and detach the roughness and increase the roughness uh, i mean yeah and increase the roughness to 0 0.7 so i'll do the rest of the uh, body color body and rib color and i'll just skip through this process So I've done the same, uh, I've applied the uh, settings to all the body color. Now, once you've done all that, you can come back to the layout preview. Now, this is what the mockup looks like. So to pursue things further, you can come to the dome and light accessories and you can do some tweaking to the light you can change the light color or you can change the um you can change the light intensity so if you want the mock-up to be brighter you can change the light intensity and also yeah so you can also enable and disable the backdrop so this is what the backdrop looks like right you can turn off the backdrop and you can also turn it back on okay and also to change the background to change the color of the backdrop select the backdrop click on the material properties and here you can change the background color to any color you want so i'll change it to a red like this and zero see what it looks like Yep, I think I like what this looks like. Yeah, I think I'll go with the red. So once you've selected your preferred background color, you can go ahead to start rendering the mockups. So now to make the mockups, the settings is already uh, the file is already set up with the best render settings. So all you need to do is check the resolution, uh, check the resolution, the image resolution, and also uh, 
and also the rent uh the scene properties so if you would like to do the uh render the mockups make sure you have the right camera selected for example if you're trying to do the front select the front camera and f12 f12 will render the mockup all right so now to do the back camera look for example this is o so this is the front camera to do the back camera select change it to the back camera and automatically and you would notice something about the back camera though that there is no backdrop in the back right so to correct this there is actually a dome cover which is like the backdrop cover right so when you check this you would notice the backdrop is like it's like a full dome okay so if you're doing the back mockup just make sure to select that or if you would like no background at all then you can uncheck the dome itself but the lighting looks horrible yeah anyways this is how you do the back and also the left side this is what the left side look like and also the right side this is what the right side look like okay now once you've done the mock-up for all the sites and uh you willing to do the animation the 360 animation select change the camera to the 360 camera let's see a preview of what this looks like hold on yes uh gpu heavy but yeah this is the 360 camera and to render the 360 camera add to the render preview you know and i mean the scene uh scene property output properties and change the png to uh no yeah leave it at png i mean sorry for the 360 video you're doing the uh f f mpeg video yeah ff mpeg video i would advise to use the settings rgb and also you can in fact the best thing to do is render as png okay render as png so when you render the animation as png now you can composite the animation in premiere pro okay so render the animation as png and if you don't know how to composite because i won't be showing how to composite in this video if you don't know how to composite change the png to ffmpeg video and that way you can render the video uh, directly so once you selected the vid uh, file video format you can go ahead press render and select render animation Control f12 if it's just the mock-up pictures use the render image shortcut is f12 okay so yeah this is how you can export your design in blender